This is my Hi, I'm Bryce Tomlinson from New Depth Media. One of the newest toys I've added to my arsenal of media developer tools is Magic Software's new Zara Web Designer 5. Using this tool, making slick, up-to-date websites has never been easier. But it's more than just a web page maker. It's also very good at making Flash animations. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a simple photo slideshow in Flash, which you can incorporate into your website with ease. With this program, you can free yourself from the bonds of having to host your slideshows on sites such as Flickr or MySpace, and actually host it right on your own site. Once you have Zara open, click on your file menu and then select New, then Animation. Drag and drop a photo into your workspace and use the selector tool to move your photo into position in the framed area. You can size the photo using the corner handles, or you can also select the photo tool and crop the image to fit the frame. Since the default time that a frame stays on the screen is only a half second, you'll probably want to change that. I'm going to have my picture stay on for three seconds. Be sure to click the apply button, as Zara is fairly picky about this. Then click close. In order to animate or fade these pictures, you must give each photo a name. Right click the photo and select names. I'm going to name this photo Asa1 and then press enter. Click the close button. Now click the copy button in the frame gallery. This will duplicate this frame and give you a new frame with which to start the fade. Drag and drop another photo off to the side so that it doesn't totally replace the photo that's there. Once again, use the selector tool to move it into place and resize it. And then use the photo tool to crop it or use the fill tool to move it around inside the frame. You'll want the edges to match the previous frame. Now right click on the photo and name it, just like the previous photo. Here's where the fade comes in. Select the transparency tool, then move the transparency to 99%. Now you should see the previous photo. Click the copy button again to duplicate this frame. Now slide the transparency back to zero and your new frame will come into play. Press the copy button again and this new frame will be the one that shows for a solid three seconds. For now, we're going to leave Ace's picture underneath this one and I'll show you why in a minute. Copy the frame again and we'll start the next fade. Drag a new photo over to the side and move and resize it just like the others. Right click and select names and give this photo a name too. I'll call it Asa2. Now select the transparency tool and slide the percentage over to 99% again. Copy the frame and slide the percentage back to zero. Copy the frame again and this new frame will stay on for three seconds. In this frame we also want to get rid of the previous photo. Click on your photo to make sure it's selected. Then click the arrange menu and select move backward. This will bring the previous photo to the front. Now select that photo and press the delete key on your keyboard. There's still another photo underneath this one, but we're going to leave that first photo there because we're going to fade back to it to start the slideshow over again. Copy the frame, and this new frame will begin the fade. Just leave it the way it is, and copy the frame again. Now, slide the transparency all the way to 99%, and you're back to the beginning. Click on the Preview Flash button, and you can see exactly what your new slideshow is going to look like. To export your flash file, go to the file menu and select export animation. Choose a file name and Zara will create your SWF flash animation, which is now ready to embed right into your site. Here's how that works. On your web page, create a rectangle about the size you want your slideshow to be. It doesn't matter what color because it will be replaced by the SWF file we just created. Right click on the rectangle and select web properties. Click on the placeholder tab and click Replace with Flash. Click the Browse button and select the file you just created. Then click Apply, then OK. Click on the Preview Website button to see how it looks. Thanks for watching.